Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. First off, happy Mother's Day to all the amazing mothers out there. My mom actually made me this necklace, she beaded it. I made the little pendant down at the bottom with some IOD and I am in love with this. She made some more as well, we made some for some friends. And we're thinking about maybe adding these things to the website, so I will be talking more about this at another date and let me know what you all think of these beautiful long beaded necklaces and they will be hand painted, hand beaded, all the fun things. So I love my mom, she's amazing. She is my best friend and not only my mother. So I love you mama, thank you for everything you've ever done for me. And today's video is another collab, you all. Yes, another collab. And it's going to be all about cottage core. It's a cottage core decor and more collab with the amazing Brie from Upcycle by Brie. If you watch my videos, you know who she is. And we have another one of our great friends, Jackie from Ruth and Ruby. She is also so amazingly talented and I'm excited that I get to collab with two of my great friends and we're going to talk about cottage core. We're going to show you a few things in each of our videos. I'm going to do a table runner today that I did with IOD stamps and DIY paint and just some canvas material just like I used on the tapestry in the making home series farmhouse friends go boho so please make sure that you not only subscribe to my channel and ring the bell that you do so for both of my friends we're all trying to grow our channels and expand this DIY community and we'd be so grateful if you joined our families so let's not waste any more time let's talk about cottage core decor and is it your thing are you like what the heck is cottage core let's get into it so first to get into making this runner, I am just taking the canvas that I did for my last project and I used a runner I already had because I'm not measuring doing all the things and then I was able to rip it all the way down and get the perfect length and width that I needed. I'm going to fold it up so I can find the middle, again, not measuring. Cottage core. Um, I think really started to take off this year for one because every new decade there is another style that comes into play and people are finally starting to want curated items. They're supporting small businesses like myself and my two friends. They're doing all these things because we want something that makes us feel cozy and at home, that makes us feel like we've just gone to grandma's house or our mother's house that reminds us of our childhood. and patchwork just like here on this quilt that my mother-in-law made me happy mother's day to you too and so stuff like this then you have the um, how i would describe it is like a cottage farmhouse meets a whimsical fairy tale you have so much nature that you're bringing in people are wanting to get back to nature it's about freedom it's about acceptance and accepting everybody no matter what the reason is and just cozy and comfy and that's why i personally love it i go more towards the neutral side well not neutral but i like pops of blues and greens sometimes a peach or a yellow in there but it's florals it's wallpaper prints you know we've also got grand millennial or granny chic so if you want to know about that design style make sure to comment down below and i'll be happy to do a video all for you all about that but it's curated it's you it's everything that you love piled into a room and it's definitely not minimalist because we all know i'm not my bathroom has one section that could go cottage core um with the prints and that i made with the jrb stencils but Cottage core is a little more floral, a little more whimsical than I go. I do like the whimsy in there and the little trinkets and things like that, but I'm typically more cottage. I have more simple designs, um, but they're all kind of together. Um, I, I kind of range between both of them. I'm just not too into the excessive floral prints and the more traditional style of things. Cottage core is cozy, comfy, your grandma's hand-me-downs, your mom's hand-me-downs, things from your childhood, just put it together. Lots of floral prints and nature prints. And you're gonna see plants that bring that boho element into, into your home. It's just a beautiful style curated just for you. And if you're already in the farmhouse, vintage, any of those style, cottage, French country, you're already there. You can use things from your own home and I'll show you how to do that here at the end of the video. All right, let's have some fun and get started with the IOD stamps. I'm using the typesetting 
font that they have in their one of their stamp sets. I'm going to use Weathered Wood by DIY. I love this color. And I'm simply putting Wildflowers. And then I'll come back in here in a little bit and use Lady Shalot from IOD and put flowers and stems and things all over this piece. Alright, so I have laid out. I'm using Lady Shalot. You all, this stuff, not gonna lie, stresses me out, but I'm just going with it because the cottage core vibes are very, I don't know, um, laid back, handmade, cozy, and I am just gonna go with it. And I'm going to use Farm Fresh and my favorite, one of my favorites, Aviary. So I'll mix it between those and of course weathered wood with that. I think this will go beautiful in between. So, and then I'll do that side here in just a minute. One of the reasons I'm using Lady Shalot is because of all the beautiful florals and leaves on here. And you all, I chose two colors to make this way easier on myself. And I'm just going through trying to find the right composition to make sure it's not too heavy on one side than the other. And I also used the Farm Fresh first and then I went back and used the Aviary because that way I wasn't cleaning my brayer out in between and it just made it a little bit easier for my eye to figure out how exactly I wanted this. Now y'all, I know it's wrinkly, but I did end up ironing this, but I'm absolutely in love with how it turned out. I am taking a clear kick tray and I'm just adding things from around my house. These beautiful chippy shakers here are actually on the website. You can check those out. The JNR, that's from my wedding. I had kind of a whimsical, rustic, vintage vibe going on. And yeah, I'm so happy with it. All right, friends, I really hope you enjoyed this quick DIY and a little take on cottage corn and how I feel about it. Remember, this is such a curated look. People are gonna have different feelings and thoughts about that. So please make sure that you are going down below. When you hop over to my other friends videos that I have linked, make sure that you let them know that you came over from my channel. And actually, why don't we leave leave a flower emoji of any kind and I will let them know that meant that you came from my channel over here and you're free from over there let me know down below make sure you subscribe and ring that bell because Tuesday's video we are going to be doing something fun easy budget friendly DIY that can be amazing gifts that will make somebody that you love feel really special and be able to treat themselves here's a little sneak peek and my mom loved hers. My grandmother loved hers. Happy Mother's Day, Grandma, to you too. Happy Mother's Day to all of my wonderful friends out there, Jackie and Bree, along with a few of my other friends as well. I love you all so much. I support all of you who are out there helping raise children, whether they're your biological children or not. You are appreciated. And remember to come back over here Tuesday, have that bell ring because you know that will let you know whenever the video is live. And I hope you enjoy this video about cottage core. I will see you all next time. Enjoy the rest of your Mother's Day. Love you guys. Bye.